right, this video is going to be an overview on when after we set up a new workspace for one of our subscribers, um, this is going to be hooking up call rail into our incoming calls uh, app. So here's the new workspace that I set up. Um, this is their incoming calls app. And then um, I'm actually uh, friends with this person, so they just gave me access to their call rail account. So I signed in uh, under their account, and I went to account and users, and I came to this page here. So this is where I would add a new user. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up a Podio user for this new workspace, and when any new phone call comes in under call rail, it'll get forwarded to that app. It'll, it'll send an email to that app create an item and notify them that they've got a call uh, waiting for them to look at. So let me show you how it's done. So in Podio, go to the new workspace incoming calls app and then click on this little wrench icon and click email to app. And what we want to do here is copy and paste this right here. And if you read, it says this is the email that when things are sent, it'll create an item inside the app. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Also, you might want to make sure that things are um, uh, fielded the right way. So we want to make sure we match up the right fields. So email subject line will go here. Email body go there. Perfect. All right. So now that I copied the email address for this app, now I'm going to head over to Call Rail and I'm going to add a user. And it's going to be just a notification type user. And I'm going to call it, um, that's the name of his workspace, Podio. And I'm going to paste the, uh, the email here. Um, I'm actually, we're going to forward both of these. He has two companies set up inside a call rail. Most people probably will only have one. Um, but I know what he's trying to do here. So I'm going to forward both of these notifications from both companies into the same app. And then that's it. Okay. So there they are. RV Property Solutions Podio. So now once you do that, we need to go and set up the notification. you've added the user um, we just need to add the notification so I'm in RVA property solutions notifications and I just want to go down here to add notification we'll pick our new user that we just created RVA property podio and I believe we're just gonna do all numbers um, no actually I'm gonna have to go through um, and so what, what they would do is they would tell you whether they just want all of their numbers going into Podio or only certain ones. So he is only going to want certain ones I know, so I just need to set up each one separately, which is fun. But we can do it. It's no big deal. So basically you pick the number, all calls, all text messages, email notification, and hit create. I'm going to go through this and do all of his, all of his numbers and hold on a second. As you can see... I put in all of his numbers, all the way from a thousand calls down here to we buy houses. Had to put them in individually, but that is it. It's all the same, all calls and text. Um, and now that's done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to his other one, the Richmond Home Buyers, and this one will be a little bit simpler because all of them will just be going to the same. So I'm already under notifications. We want to do our VA property podio, all numbers calls and text, email, create. And there you go. Now both of his companies, all of his marketing numbers will be going inside of Podio. Um, you can test this out if you want by calling one of the phone numbers. Click on the number um, and one of the ones that you added. All of these go there. So we could call uh, one of these tracking numbers to test to make sure that it shows up in Podio in the incoming calls app. Uh, but that's basically how you set up call rail into the incoming calls app and then everything else is automatically done um, on our end pushing it to the you know to the end user to the ones that they'll be using thanks for listening